That is Check fair. Man. Hello, Jake. Hi. <laughs> I'm Phil Norrickson. I'm from Birkland, uh, the town of Darrick'sford. I'm a folk hero. I'm a warrior. And I've done lots of crazy shit that bards and people that write stories write about. And I fuck shit up. Yeah. I'm going to be a wizard. Yeah. It's called Corsica. <laughs> and... He doesn't fly, or make pretty lights, or make flowers blue, or anything like that. He just hurts things. <laughs> Why doesn't he have a beard? He can make money. Okay, hey, okay. <laughs> Alright? Too <laughs> Money, power, prestige. He couldn't get it where he was, he wants it there. Fuck elves, get gelled. <laughs> Fuck elves, get gelled. <laughs> he, he has a dwarf fetish. <laughs> What what do you love the most about your character? I love that my character is bold, strong, and incredibly arrogant, which is kind of traits of myself pushed to level 11. I'm gonna I'm just gonna really up myself here and say it was all pretty easy because my character is very simple. I just went with a trope and then built on it. I guess the part the hardest part would probably be writing into the world without treading on the creator's toes. Like you want to be able to make your own kind of pocket in this big universe without without um sorry these guys are completely <laughs> You gotta make this pocket in the own universe without overstepping the greater story. I guess because it's something that I've never done before. Um really just knowing where to begin Ryan helped me out. <laughs> it wasn't too hard to sort of get the concept behind because she's she's kind of like an exaggerated version of myself. Yeah. I think just reading everybody else's character backstories, just the elements that they put into it, like where are they from, you know, what are they doing, that sort of thing. So I could just be like, okay, well this is where I need to sort of go with it. What what is she doing? What what's her her journey? What's her story? The hardest part right now is personality because I didn't want to be the cliche, sarcastic, funny guy author. <laughs> but I didn't want to just go the polar opposite and do the brooding kind of dark handsome kind of thing. So Fuck you! Kylo Ren is awesome! I love Justin Trudeau. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, you see his little knife him. flip where he like took the knife? Yes, like, fuck yes, it. that was so cool! Oh, <laughs> marry me. Snowboarding <laughs> instructor. I just love it. Wait, he's a event. snowboarding instructor? He's made money as a kid being a snowboarding Doesn't instructor. Doesn't he like ride elks and like... Uh, you should just call this guy. Black and moves in his spare time? Oh, oh, wait, what are we going back to LARP? Yeah. How do you talk about Justin Trudeau? <laughs> that would be the hardest part about writing my character would be improvising every detail of him sitting here live on camera. <laughs> but it's good prompting, right? Yeah, it is. No, I think probably the hardest part of my character will be having him be more interesting than just being like, oh, I'm a wizard that throws fireballs. Like personality. Do you find, like, I found it fell into like one of three categories. Like your character is either you with exaggerated features the polar opposite of you, or kind of a clone of a fictional character you really like. Because I roleplay a lot online, and both Liam well, Marco Polo. Yeah. <laughs> Ragnar Lothbrok. <laughs> we'll say, sorry. I, I write a lot online, so I have a lot of characters in my head. It's just me, the, when I create a character, they become their own person in my mind. And sure, some of them have traits like I have, but... Yeah, I had the problem of trying to avoid just taking a character that I've used in any of any number of stories and just being oh, like, yeah. I'll be there. Yeah. Uh, I, I was yeah. from Dragon Age, as Des pointed out, that's yeah. kind of an influence for Slave as it is. What's been the most challenging in the practical sense in your setup for LARP for this, this first game? I have zero sewing skills, so I think the hardest bit was finding a really good friend who could sew things for me. Was it so hard? Well, yeah, it was it was hard. Yeah, I found it pretty difficult. I, I thought the, the process itself, because I just sat there and did nothing, I thought, thought it was kind of really difficult to do. So. You <laughs> learn how to do things, then you cut things. I cut time. things, and I cut, like, cut in a straight line, she says. Uh... Honestly, I've been a piece of shit, and I've been working heaps, so the challenging part would be getting everything ready before the actual event. Like time management? 
<laughs> What's actually been the most enjoyable about riding and also the costume and um, you know weapon, like the tangible thing set up? Like the most enjoyable thing hasn't happened yet, which is the game. But like I did really enjoy like the sense of completion when you have like, your finished tunic or something like that. And also hanging out with your friends while you're like going shopping and stuff Playing like that. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Collaborating. Like, collaborating is really fun. Like mixing your characters and how they meet and stuff like that, and like working on stuff together and then how it all brings. Because like we're all gonna be like kind of friends in game. So like how we're all gonna how all our characters meet, mix up. It's it's gonna be fun. Yeah. It's not a real big secret to anyone that actually does like know me that I I am a massive man and I like. Playing D and D, I like footage and um, just like historical reenactment stuff. So now I combine role, play? role playing with practical, actual application of being able to be this character that I've written. Like I've written so many characters, who are just like, yeah, I would love to live the hell like the hell out of this life. And now I actually do get to do it. So I'm like, yes, gonna do all the things, gonna step. All the people, people are going to think I'm a murderer around here. <laughs> uh, yeah, the collaboration is, has definitely been a huge thing. Um, just developing my character's story with Ryan in the lounge room. We just got so excited, like, you know, bring, getting up new ideas and writing it down and just getting back into writing as well. I've always had a love for fantasy and those kind of different worlds and I used to do writing when I was a teenager, but I stopped for ages yeah. um, and really just focused on my art. Uh, my favourite thing was collaborating with you and Liam you know, about our characters and how they would how they would work together. Like, like I, I like how Audrey treats Slade. Like yeah. it's not like it shows the depth of her character, how she's insecure about him. So, same question. What do you enjoy most about? Uh, writing and what do you enjoy most about the physical aspects of making your character? Definitely collaborating with Liam, which is something that I've done often um, because we used to we were in a writing class together. So um, I did that a lot, but it was never to the scale that I've done it um, thus far because obviously our our characters are so connected I guess to on an emotional level like a nice thing to sort of explore the friendship that Liam and I have after a, the massive Quidditch tournament that just went by. But I realised that like Liam is probably my best friend. It was definitely an affirmation of like how how relationship has developed over the last couple of years. Yeah. So it was nice to sort of actually have that on paper and then go like, actually this is really reflective of the relationship that we already have. The outfits, like it's nice. I do cosplay. I sew a lot. I'm pretty fucking good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to uh, have a lot more creative license over my own character. With cosplay, there is a character that's already made up, there's already an a design and there's as much as like you get character like you get creative license with like what materials you use, what kind of look you're going for, whether it's gonna be like a really blocky cartoon look or it's going to be like as if that character was realized into the real world, you get much more of a creative license with love with your own original character. Oh my god, you're a white devil. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> now sing the Australian no. anthem. Now sing the Australian anthem. Absolutely not. Sing the Canadian anthem, that's whiter. Oh Canada. That's the only line I know is Oh Canada. Oh Canada. I feel like I can't put that on the video now. I, think I can put this on the video. Why? Why? Is, is it your obsession? You're going in session with Justin Trudeau? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need man. to know the song. <laughs> so what, you just shake his hand and then start singing? <laughs>